Hello there, and welcome back to Diablo 2, playing as a druid. I'm about to go back into the dark wood and seek out the tree of Inifus and get that scroll being tasked to do by Akara. I'll get my little pet army back. Um, hmm. So, getting my whole pet army basically empties my mana yes. in one go. Good to know. Alright, dark wood. Now, I believe this is the tree right here. It is, how about that? Tree head. Tree head wood fist. Always spawns. Hunter's bow, that could be good for my archer. Use the tree. A few stragglers. I will get to the tree in a minute. Okay, where was I? The tree. This dead tree teems with energy. Take the scroll in of us to Akara, and there it is. You can actually look at it. Doesn't mean much now, but I believe Akara can translate that for me. Go back to town. I did level up. I might get a bit more vitality this time. Now yeah, skills, I'm not I'm pretty close to my next tier. So I don't want to waste points if I don't need to. I would like to get Fisher. Fisher? Fisher? Uh, when that's available. And obviously. Oh, so I can't get any more wolves. The carrion vine, not too fussed about either. I like my poison vine. Hmm, maybe I don't need to save my points then. Might just get an extra point into Molten Boulder. Okay. Let's see what Akara has to say about this scroll. Ah, very good. I have translated the runes on this scroll. You must find the Cairn Stones and touch them in the order that I have written. Right. Go to the Cairn Stones in the stony field. Touch the stones in the order found on the scroll of Inifus. Enter the portal to Tristram, but beware the dangers that lie ahead. So now have a look at the scroll. It tells me the order to do it, and it's a perfect circle. Should make it easier. Good Let's see if this bow is any good. Yes, I can I'll give that. that to good use. Give that to my higher The order welcomes you. Alright, so we're back to the stony field. And hopefully, keep doing that. I didn't actually explore much of the stony field, but looks of it. But I thought I did find the, uh, the can stones. Oh, there they are. Just kill this little camp and fall in this one here. Take all the money I can get. A bit uh, OC when it comes to looting money. I like to pick up every bit of gold. Even if it's very likely, I won't use it by the end of the game. Mm, Leather gloves might be handy. Not 
two wands. That one's worthless, but that one could be worth something. Alright, to the stones. I'll fight back an issue again. Electricity spews out. Alright, so now I'm going to touch them in the right order. The trees just know which one you got to touch first. So the first one is that one. Find and rescue Deckard Kane. Ah, yes. Ruins. The fate of all cities. There's Griswold. Unique boss. Defense Tristram. Went down pretty easily. There's always a few champions and named bosses around Tristram, which is a good bit of area for some loot and experience. Hard leather armor. in this wrecked building. There's some champions. And I can hear Deku go oh, very, very. I'll loot before I speak to Deckard. I'm sure he won't mind. Deckard Kane, leave this place. I'm going to return to the camp and speak to Kane and Akara, but while I'm here, I'll just do a bit of a search around Tristan, get a few more kills. <laughs> Wurt's body. Wurt drops a very special item. Being his fake leg. With one socket, that will become very important later on. For those that don't know what Wurt's leg does, I won't spoil the secret. I thought there might be a couple more champions around, but oh, there's no unique enemy. Got an aura. Probably do us, I think, for Tristram. Uh, the importance of Tristram is that in the original Diablo, Tristram was your hometown that the game based around, and now it is in ruins. Let's return. I'll speak to Kane first. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. As you know, some time ago Diablo was slain beneath Tristram, and when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. 
Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly aloof. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. One day he simply left, and shortly thereafter Tristram was attacked by legions of foul demons. Many were slain, and the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You must stop him or all will be lost. Nice, right, so that's Kane's story. I think Akara will give me a reward as well. You have risked your life to rescue Kane. For that we thank you. We must seek his counsel immediately. That sounded like she gave me a ring as well. Alright, my current gloves are lightning is just nine. Can't see myself replacing that anytime soon. Slightly better upgrade for my Highland. Alright, so the rear ring isn't really that great. Disappointing. Let's go sell a few things and repair up a chassis. Although I no I won't. Good day. I'm just gonna start the next part of this quest, so I'll leave chassis for a minute. Hello. Sell some stuff. Put Port's leg in safe place in my stash. Now, do I go? Find the next waypoint. I think I will. I'll push into the Black Marsh. And find the waypoint there. I keep pressing that wrong button. I know the path that will take me there. And so follow this path, it'll take me straight to the Black Marsh. And then it's just a matter of finding the waypoint. Trackbones take as long as the one in the dark thing. Go a bit more energy. So throw some more boulders around. Cyclone armor might be good. So I might get the first point of Arctic Blast. So then 
next here. Which I think the next level I can get cyclone armor. Alright, back to the path. Use the way into the black marsh. And now it's just a matter of finding this waypoint. Small shield might be better than my current shield. Not quite. Won't take much to beat it though. Usually worth much money. Rare quilted armor. Mm. Much of a muchness. Huh. There's the way into the next area. Short path. Ah! Now he's got to find this waypoint. Oh, ah! Boulder's definitely doing his job. Plus one to werewolf. I don't really use either of those, either of those skills. And there's my waypoint. Actually, there is something else I need to find in the black marsh that reminds me. Do I search for it now? Or do I come back? I'll have a quick search. I'm going to find what I'm looking for this time. I'll head back. And renew my search. In the next episode, I think I'll just check this last corner. An enemy found this extra fast demon. In the safety of this barn, next to this cow, I will head back to town. Good evening. Sell my last couple of items. Plus two to poison creeper. Oh yeah, I could use that one. Cold resist seven. I'll give that to my hireling. I'll put that to good use. And the amulet. Lightning is just nine. Oh yeah. 
and create cards in your way. That was a bit of good loot. You'd almost say that was worthwhile. Alright, and that will do for this episode. I'll just dump my cash. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate the views. And I hope you come back for the next episode. Enjoy. Take care out there.